Hey fam, what's up? It's April. Welcome back to weekly reading vlogs. If you missed it, I participated in the reading rush last week and I had kind of daily vlogs for that. So if you missed it, you can go and check those out. But I read five and a half books last week. So there's only two days left in the month. Well, actually like one and a half because there's the rest of today and then there's tomorrow and tomorrow's my birthday. So I think for the next two days, I'm going to take a break from reading. Well, not really. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep listening to The Well of Ascension, which is my current audiobook. Um, so I'll listen to this on my way to and from work and just when I'm like doing stuff around the house. But I've decided I'm not going to pick up anything else until Wednesday, the first. Oh, snap. There's another day after the 30th of July. Okay, maybe for the next three days then, I'm just gonna take a break. Another reason is cause I don't wanna like cheat for the Newt's Magical Readathon and start early. I mean, technically this is for one of the prompts, but like, it's fine, this book is humongous. So yeah, I'll talk about what I plan to read on Thursday onwards. But for now, I just got my owl crate and I'll create junior boxes for this month, July, and I'm so excited. I've been waiting for these to arrive because they arrived kind of later than they normally would. So I'm so excited to open them. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'll leave a timestamp if you wanna skip the unboxings. Oh, I'm also wearing my uh, Cedric shirt. I'm in love with it. I went to a Harry Potter shop yesterday and it was amazing. But anyway, let's get to the unboxings. All right, we'll start with Alcrate. So I have a discount code that you can use for Alcrate to get 15% off your first order. And Alcrate sends me these because they are the bee's knees. Ooh. First, we have the spoiler card. It's adorable. It's a bee race. That's so cute. I will say I already know what's in here because I could not wait to watch uh, Mel's ASMR Alcrate unboxing because she put that out like a week ago and I love her ASMR unboxings. So I kind of already know what's in here. I'm sorry, but I don't know what's in the Alcrate Junior box. So first we have this little bag. Kind of reminds me of like a sleeping bag, but inside is a puzzle. And I forgot what the puzzle is. What is the puzzle? Oh, it's a night circus puzzle designed by Holly Dunn Design and it's 300 pieces. I'm actually really excited about this um, because at work a few weeks ago I was doing a puzzle with the kids and I was like this is so fun. So <laughs> yeah I really want to do this. Then we have an adorable little pouch and this is inspired by the Hunger Games because it says may the odds be ever in your favor. I love the arrows on the back that is so cute but this particularly excites me because uh, the prequel was announced a few weeks ago and I'm so excited. This is so cute. Next we have a lanyard that says bravery hides in amazing places and it has a bunch of cacti and succulents on it. It's very cute. And this is from The Selection, which I read, I think, like, back in 2014. Oh, man, I used to love that series. Okay, I kind of freaked out when I saw these on Mel's video because these are playing cards but they are a darker shade of magic themed which is not my favorite book in the whole world but these cards are stunning they have red oh. <laughs> send help i'm a mess what i was trying to say is that they have red gilded edges is gilded the right word i don't know they look awesome and then they also have gorgeous artwork oh yeah Oh my god, look at her. Ooh. So yeah, really love these. I'm definitely going to keep them, even though like I'm not a huge I'm not the hugest fan of the book. I haven't finished the series though. I've only read the first book, so I still need to finish the series, but these are stunning. Alright, the item we've all been waiting for, the newest Harry Potter mug by Kara Kozik. Holy moly. I'm so pumped. Also, sorry if you can hear noise outside. Something's going on outside. These are my favorite mugs of all time. And this one is Goblet of Fire themed. So starting off, we have the dragon. We have the lake. Then the maze. And the graveyard. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm just obsessed with these mugs. Absolutely obsessed. Then we have this month's pin, which you might be able to guess the book from the pin. Who knows? Oh, and then we have an art print says people see what they wish to see 
This is also from The Night Circus. I love me a good art print. And then we have a little like advert for Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. That cover is stunning. <laughs> okay, and then we've reached the book, which is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at this. And we have a letter from the author, but this is the book. And the Our Crate edition has gold writing instead of silver, I believe. And it's also signed. What does it look like underneath? Oh, it's so pretty underneath. I'm pretty sure I'd already fallen asleep in Melanie's video by the time she showed the book. So, hmm. Oh, I missed the spine. That's gorgeous. But basically, I've heard this is like a mix between like a Mulan retelling and Project Runway. It sounds amazing, it's own voices. Yeah, the main character is a seamstress and she has to dress up as a boy to become an imperial tailor. And there's a competition that's cutthroat. Ooh, we love competitions. Okay, this sounds right up my alley. I'm pumped. So the theme for next month's box is Storms and Seas and I have no idea what this book could be. Okay, so that's the Owl Crate box. I loved it. My favorite thing is definitely the mug. So now let's move into the Owl Crate Junior box. Okay. Oh my gosh, I forgot what the theme was and now I'm so excited. The theme is Zodiac Adventure. Holy moly. Okay, first thing is a box so let's see what's inside could this be another mug is this another mug it is it's another mug oh my gosh we have been blessed what the heck it's so cute is this who is this done by bunny louie oh my gosh look that is adorable <gasps> i think i'm born in the year of the dog Leave down in the comments what year you're born in. I'm so happy with that. Oh my gosh. Okay, next we have this something. Oh, it's a little mirror. That's cute. This is apparently inspired by Treasures of the Airs. I have no idea what that is, but it is very cute. Okay, next we have a cloth item. So let's... Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Celestial planisphere so this is a tapestry uh it doesn't say who made it or anything but i love this it's stunning i definitely want to hang this up somewhere i've been really wanting to get um some wall tapestries but i just don't know what to get so this is perfect all right next we have some origami Oh my gosh, I used to love doing origami when I was a kid, but I was always so bad at it. Then, oh, we have an adorable sticker sheet. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, and then we have a little piggy. So on the spoiler card, it says 2019 is the year of the pig. Which hand-painted animal figurine did you get? Well, I got the pig. Oink, oink. That's so cool. They're hand-painted. He's so cute. And then, oh my gosh, look at the badge. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Okay, and we've reached the book. Oh, this looks so cool. So this is The Twelve by Cindy Lynn. I love this cover. It is gorgeous. So we also got a signed book plate and a letter from the author. Oh, it says, make your own Zodiac paper fan. So... We can make a fan, but this is the book underneath. From what I know, this is an own voices book about the zodiac signs. Okay, instead of reading the entire blurb, I'll just read the little blurb that our great uh, junior gave. So it says, Usagi was born in the year of the wood rabbit, meaning she can hear a tiny rustle from miles away and can leap to safety in a single bound. But with the dragon lord determined to capture and contain anyone with zodiac powers, it is up to Usagi and the heirs of the Twelve to hone their skills and fight back. The Twelve is the first in an exciting new Own Voices fantasy series from Cindy Lynn. Okay. Okay. I'm excited for this. Okay, let's find out the theme for next month. The, ooh, the theme for next month is Thieves in the Night. Our August book pick is a fast-paced, heart-pounding heist adventure set in 1930s New York City, all about family, love, and fierce loyalty. 
I have a need. Oh my gosh, I love Alcrate and Alcrate Junior so much. Seriously, getting their boxes in the mail just like makes my day 10 times better. Okay, now I'm gonna go and clean up this mess and finish editing my day seven vlog. And then I have to get ready for work this afternoon. Good morning. So, um, I have stuff because it's my birthday today. So this morning I opened up a present from my grandma and she got me some gorgeous notebooks and some like pens and uh, she knows me so well. And Luna gave me her love, which is the best gift of all. But I have a present from Kara from Bianca Reads. And then this came so quickly. We have a package from the Store of Requirement, which is a Harry Potter shop that is located like half an hour away from me. And I placed this order on Sunday. So it came really quickly and I'm so excited because it came on my birthday. Like this is the best date ever. So we'll start with the package from Kara. I know what it is because we told each other what we wanted for our birthdays because her birthday is six days after mine. Also, I apologize if you can hear people like cutting trees in the background. I don't know what's going on outside. But anyway, let's open it. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, you can't tell what it is. Okay, okay, okay. It is the hardcover, the UK hardcover of Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh my goodness, this is so stunning. Love the end papers. We love, we love. But I read an e-arc of this, so I didn't own a physical copy and I really wanted to because Taylor Jenkins Reid is one of my favorite authors of all time. And I really do want to reread this book. So thank you so much, Kara. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, Luna, are you ready to open this package? The first thing is the official Hufflepuff scarf. So this was made in Scotland. I believe it's made by the people who made like all of the costumes and everything. So oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Look at me living my best Hufflepuff life. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then we also have a notebook. <laughs> I'm trash for notebooks. But this one is absolutely stunning. It's got like gold sprayed edges and this is the design on the front and then on the back and the spine and then on the inside and then on the bottoms of the page it says Hogwarts oh my gosh I love this so much I'm debating whether to use this for my like Harry Potter journal or the black bullet journal I don't know what do you guys think okay then there's one more thing in the box Really? And that is a poster. And I love this poster so much. It is a Spells and Charms poster. It is so cool. I just want to like hang it on the wall, you know? I love it. So that is what I got. I'm a very happy camper right now. So it is now 10.38. I've been to work for the morning, but I have the afternoon off. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna spend it catching up on booktube videos because it just brings me so much joy. And I think I might start rereading and annotating the first Harry Potter book because I'm just in the mood because, you know, it's also Neville Longbottom's birthday. What an iconic duo. So yeah, I am expecting more birthday packages. I just don't know when they're gonna arrive. So some might arrive today, but I will let you know if they do. Okay, so the mailman has just been and I just got a package. I don't know what it is or who it's from or anything. It just feels like a book. So we're gonna open it and we shall find out together. But like so far, I feel like this has been the best birthday ever. Okay, let's see what's inside. And let's see what if there's, an, if there's no note. Oh my God, this book is so freaking cute. Okay, so this is I Love You So Mochi by Sarah coon oh my gosh look at this book i don't know who sent this to me so i'm gonna have to like put a tweet out into the world asking who sent this to me because that is the sweetest oh my gosh it's like bright pink this this book is such my aesthetic if you didn't know cherry blossoms are my favorite flower plant and this like pastel pink is my favorite color so 
Oh my god. Look. Oh, this book is so cute. Oh my goodness, who bought this for me? So this is a YA contemporary set in Japan. So the main character is sent to live with her estranged grandparents uh, in Kyoto. And she meets a med student called Akira. This looks so cute. Thank you so much to whoever sent this to me. I will find you and I will send you a sappy message. <laughs> But I also have an update because I read something. Oh, who am I? So I decided I'm just going to read Sanity and Tula by Molly Brooks because it was originally on my Reading Rush TBR but I didn't end up reading it. But it is a graphic novel and I was at 14 books read for the month. So I was like, let's just get one more in and make it 15. So this is a middle grade graphic novel. I got this in an Owlcrate Junior box and it was so stinking adorable. It follows these two best friends who live on like this space station and Sanity is really into science and she makes this science experiment where she actually creates this three-headed kitten and then the three-headed kitten escapes from the lab and is causing havoc in the, in the station so they have to find her and it is adorable. There was also disability rep and possibly gay rep. I'm, I'm not too sure on the labels on it exactly but yeah it was super cute. I gave it four out of five stars and I'm really glad. And I picked it up. So right now I am catching up on Reading Rush vlogs. At the moment I'm watching Mel to the Annie's Day 3 vlog which is her BTS Day vlog and I'm getting all up in my feels about it. Anyway so I'm gonna go continue watching that vlog and then cry about it. And then Lucas is coming home in a couple of hours and then we're gonna go to Sizzla for dinner. I'm so excited. I love Sizzla because the cheese toast there is amazing and it's like all you can eat buffet. So I always get like 10 bowls of ice cream. It's gonna be amazing. Hello. So it is Wednesday. I am just at my friend's house uh, to drop Luna off so that Luna can see her best friend Ollie. But um, I got a package on my way out so I thought we'd do a car unboxing because that's always fun. I don't know if these are books that I ordered myself or if it's a gift but uh, we're gonna open it. Okay, these are the books I ordered myself for my birthday. I'm so excited. Luna, are you excited? She's so excited. So the first book is Love From A To Z by S.K. Ali. Oh, this is so stunning. Oh my gosh. This came highly recommended from my friend Sajid from Books On My Social Life. Oh, this is such a stunning hardcover. Oh my gosh. Um, but this is a YA contemporary about two Muslim teens who are on their way to Qatar. That's all I really know, but I really want to read it and I am going to be reading it for the Newt's Magical Readathon, so that's exciting. And the second book in here, this is actually stunning, is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I've heard mixed things about this, mostly positive, but I've just heard that the ending is really abrupt and just like unresolved, which I hate. So uh, I'd be intrigued to see my thoughts on this one. I'm also reading this for the nudes. Ooh, and it's this lovely green color underneath. And this has been labeled as like sapphic horror. So yay, I am so very excited. So now uh, we're gonna go inside and have a little play date. And I'm leaving Luna here while I go to work for the afternoon. Um, and then picking her up afterwards. So let's go. Ollie! Hi, Ollie! Hi! Hi! I'm so excited! Wow! Are you guys so excited to be reunited? Hey! She's so excited! Lena's probably gonna take a big dump. She always does as soon as she gets here. Good morning! It is Thursday. It's almost midday and we have things to catch up on. So last night, by some miracle, I finished The Well of Ascension. This uh, has me very emotionally drained. <sighs> so I ended up giving this a four out of five stars because it is a lot slower than the first book. 
a lot more political. Things really frustrated me about the main character's relationship and how they just didn't communicate. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. I cannot wait to read The Hero of Ages, but since I finished this way earlier than I had anticipated, this was originally on my Newt's TBR, but I finished it before the Newt's even began. So I guess I will have to wait a month to read The Hero of Ages. I mean, I could fit it into my Newt's TBR, but I don't think it'll happen. So yeah, we can officially add this to my books read for the month thing I have going on here. So in total for July I read 16 books which means I was one challenge shy for the book junkie trials of becoming quest champion but it's fine I'm over it. But anyways so since that was my audiobook I have moved on to a new audiobook and this is for the newts. So I started listening to Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I wanted to get a head start on this because I knew it was going to be kind of hard to get through but I'm listening to the audiobook and I listened while cleaning my house this morning and I'm already on chapter 8 page 62 and it is really easy to understand I'm enjoying it I am shocked <laughs> so yeah this is going well so far this is to get an outstanding in ancient runes so since it is a new month and I'm not reading anything except for that it's time to start some new books for the newts so I'm going to start Wilder Girls today by Rory Power because this is to get my acceptable in Ancient Runes. And then on the weekend, I'm going to be buddy reading The Thief with my friend Kirsty. I will leave her blog and Goodreads in the description, but she used to be on YouTube and she reads like 400 books a year. It is amazing. So yeah, we're going to be buddy reading this over the weekend and this is to get an acceptable in History of Magic. Oh, and I will leave my Newt's TBR linked in the corner if you want to check it out. I'm going for the Librarian career, so I need to get an O in Ancient Runes, an E in Defense Against the Dark Arts and an E in History of Magic, but I'm also attempting to read way more, but yeah. And then if I have time on the weekend, I want to start my reread of Harry Potter and I want to start annotating it. I am so freaking excited for this, I can't even tell you. So this book is going to have just like all of my annotations and this one is just going to have Hufflepuff related stuff annotated and this is to get an A in Defense Against the Dark Arts. So I'm attempting those like librarian challenges first so that I can get them done so that I won't be stressed towards the end of the month. So yeah, here's what's on the agenda for the rest of the week. But we've already finished two books this week so I'm feeling pretty good about it. But another reason why I'm here is that I just got a package in the mail and a few people have contacted me saying they've gotten me something off my Amazon wish list for my birthday and I just I'm so grateful I can't believe people want to send me things like I just can't believe it I don't have words so uh, we're gonna open it and find out who it's from and what they got me and cry <laughs> so this is a pretty heavy box okay we're gonna try and find the note first without looking at the books okay this Oh my gosh, this is from Mandy. She says, happy birthday, April, from a subscribe subscriber who's appreciated your content over the last year. I hope you enjoy a couple books from your wish list that I've enjoyed recently. Oh my God, thank you so much, Mandy. Ooh. Let's see what we have here. Oh my god, okay, this is Into the Drowning Deep by Myra Grant. I have wanted to read this for so long. It is a horror book about like really scary mermaids. I have heard so many amazing things about this book. I am so excited to read it. Oh my gosh, Mandy! It says, seven years ago, the Atargetus set off on a voyage to the Mariana Trench to film a mockumentary bringing to life an ancient sea creature of legend. It was lost at sea with all hands. Some have called it a tragedy, others have called it a hoax. And now a new crew has been assembled to investigate and they'll discover that whatever is down there is definitely no joke. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna put the note in there so I can keep it forever. Thank you so much, Mandy. And there is another freaking book in here. Oh my gosh, you did not have to do this, Mandy, seriously. This is a graphic memoir that I've wanted to read for such a long time. It is called The Best We Could Do by T. Bui. And this is all about a family's journey, well, the author's family's journey uh, from war-torn Vietnam 
to their new lives in America. Oh my gosh, and this is the art style. I love the coloring. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. Thank you so much, Mandy. Oh, just don't even know what to say. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go. Um, eat some lunch and then I have to go to work in the afternoon, but hopefully we can get in some reading today Apart from great expectations really want to get a start on wilder girls. So yeah. Hello, this is a weird angle, but we're going for it <laughs> So welcome back to another car unboxing because I have to leave for work But I just got a couple of packages. We have one from a publisher and one I think is a gift from my friend Lordez. <laughs> So, we'll start with the one that I think is the gift. I swear, I just have the best friends in the whole entire world. Okay, let's see what this is. This is not from Lourdes. I don't think. Who is this from? Is this from... Is it... Okay, I'm gonna go out on a whim and say this is from Whitney from Witty Novels. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I will have to investigate and get back to you, but this is Aquacorn Cove by Katie O'Neill. I love this so, so, so much and I didn't own a finished copy. Oh my gosh, Katie O'Neill is my favorite graphic novel um, artist slash author. And yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so happy you ever sent this to me. I love you so much. Mm, this is literally the most pure and precious thing you will ever see in your life so thank you to whoever got that for me i'm emo okay let's open this one i think it's from a publisher Ooh, hello this is into the crooked place by alexandra christo who is the author of um to kill a kingdom so this is coming out in Australia on the 8th of October. So this is the ARC. I think this is another retelling, but I can't remember what it's for. I will leave it on the screen when I figure it out. <laughs> but it says on the back, the realms make monsters of us all. Ooh. Okay, and this was sent to me by Alan and Unwin, who are doing the Lord's work. Love them so much. But anyway, I can't spend too much time yapping on because i gotta go to work so catch you soon i just took a nap so hello it's saturday i have my period so i am just moping about taking naps being a potato but i figured it's time to update you on my reading so let's set you down so we can chat i am on page 146 of great expectations i have no idea what's going on anymore like this book is so weird and i don't <laughs> like i can understand the general gist of things but just some of it i'm like what the heck is happening then today i started my buddy read with kirsty of the thief um so i actually went out for brunch with a friend so hence why i needed the nap because social interaction is hard <laughs> Uh, I am 80 pages in. I'm on chapter 5 and I have to read this much more today because we're reading half of this today, half of this tomorrow and mm, I'm enjoying it. It's honestly really meh so far. What I didn't realize that this is like based off of Greek mythology. But yeah, ah, eh, eh, eh. And Luna is currently lying on my other book. Oh dear. But that is Wild Girls. I have started it. I am not very far in. I'm probably like 10 pages in. Okay, I've retrieved the book. No, I lied. I'm on page 8. Chapter 2. But I, I'm really liking the vibe of this. I love like survival stories and this that's kind of what this is. So, I don't know. This is gonna be really fun. But in an hour or so, Kara's gonna FaceTime me and we're gonna read Memento together, which I'm really excited about. Oh, and another thing, I also picked up this from the library. This is Avatar uh, Imbalance Part 1. Imbalance is the latest trilogy of comics in this series. And I have not read the first two volumes yet, even though they're out, so I also... Um, have the second one coming from the library. It just had to be transferred to my library. And the third one comes out, I think, 
September or October. This one has a new artist though. I think it's Faith Erin Hicks actually. Oh no, this one's written by Faith Erin Hicks. The art is Peter Waterman. So yeah, different artist different writer. Hopefully it's still good. This doesn't complete any prompts for the newts though. Maybe I can find prompts to fit it, but yeah. So plans for the rest of the weekend. We're gonna read Memento, we're gonna read The Thief, we're gonna read this, we're gonna try and finish this, and we're gonna read maybe a little bit more of this. Hopefully we can finish these three things this weekend, plus Memento, that's four things. And then I will have finished six things this week. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna go and read while I wait for Kara to FaceTime me. Full gloom reflected in wide eyes. She has pieces of string tied about various fingers as if to remind her of something. Identical tattoos encircle her left and right index fingers. A single word repeated. Memento. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, it is Sunday. I just finished filming my July book haul, but I have stuff to update you on. So uh, we finished Memento. It was so good. I gave it four out of five stars. But annoyingly, apparently it's like against Goodreads rules to have the book up on Goodreads because it was only available for pre-order. So I can't add it to my Goodreads challenge, which is really freaking annoying. But anyways, we've done it. We've read that. And then, I don't know if I mentioned, but I made it halfway through The Thief. This is so boring. I'm really not enjoying it that much. Like, it's just so average. So we're going to read the other section today. And then I read quite a bit more of Great Expectations. I made it to page 227 and I've decided to DNF this. I am just really not vibing with this. The story is just kind of weird. I don't like how it's written. I think Charles Dickens and I just don't get along. And I just couldn't care less with what's happening, honestly. So yeah. We are DNFing it, and you know what? That's okay. I'm still counting it for the newts because I read a significant chunk of this book, so I am just, I'm definitely counting it. And for Wilder Girls, I'm about 30 pages in, so still not that far in, but I am really enjoying it as well. So that means for the newts, I was able to color in two books on my shelves, and then today we'll be coloring in the Thief for Acceptable in History of Magic, and maybe even Wilder Girls, which is Acceptable in Ancient Runes. That would be amazing. That's the plan. Catch up with y'all later. Monday so it's time to wrap up this vlog. So I didn't get all the books read that I wanted to but I did end up finishing four books which I'm really happy with. Oh no I lied I read five things. So I read Sanity and Tallulah by Molly Brooks. I gave this four stars and I finished The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson which I also gave four stars and if you want to hear my thoughts on these I just posted my July wrap up this past week so you can check that out. So then moving into August and my newts I read Memento by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I gave that four stars and that was to get an exceeds expectations in charms which was to read a comic slash graphic novel slash manga or a book under 150 pages. Then I DNF'd Great Expectations by Charles Dickens at page 227 and this was to get an outstanding in Ancient Runes which was to read a book that's been on your TBR for ages because this is one of the 12 books that's been on my TBR the longest. And then I read The Thief by Megan Wallen Turner. I gave this two stars. I really did not enjoy this. And my friend Kirsty, who I buddy read this with, uh, we had the exact same thoughts. It felt like two separate books. The first half was super boring. The second half was more exciting, but it wasn't exciting enough to actually get me really invested in it. The twist at the end, part of it was really predictable, and the other part wasn't enough to get me to read the next books in the series. I just don't think this was my cup of tea. The only thing I liked about it was there was like a redemption arc with one of the characters that I really enjoyed, but other than that, I just thought this was nothing special unfortunately which seems to be quite an unpopular opinion and that was to get an acceptable in history of magic and the prompt was to read a fantasy so those were the five books that I've read this week these and memento and then I made it 
almost halfway through Wilder Girls. I am on page 138. I am loving this book so much. It has completely hooked me in. I just need to know what's going on. I need to know the mystery behind all of this and I'm just really loving the vibe and everything about it. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I am definitely planning on finishing it today. I just um, fell asleep while I was reading it last night because I am an actual grandma and cannot stay up late. And I didn't end up getting to Avatar, so that will be on my list of things to read this week as well. But you'll have to stay tuned for this next week's reading vlog. <laughs> but that is it for this week's reading vlog. I just wanna say a massive thank you again to all of the people who bought me birthday presents. <sighs> it just made my week just 10,000 times better. I appreciate you guys so much and thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes over on Twitter. <laughs> My heart. But yeah, that is it. Uh, I will see you guys really soon with a new video. Goodbye.